And then there's this. Angela Merkel's alliance party in Germany just suffered a very narrow defeat at the hands of the Social Democratic Party. Ashley, come back in again, please. Looks like the status yeah. quo, not much change. What do you think? Not really, but there's nothing like German politics to get you fired up on a Monday morning. Uh, it has been billed <laughs> as one of Germany's most significant votes in recent years. 16 years as German Chancellor, Angela Merkel will now be stepping down. As, as you say, her right-leaning alliance came in second, 24% of the vote to the centre-left Social Democratic Party's near 26%. But it does represent a big change, because over the years, the Conservative alliance has dominated German politics, going all the way back to 1949. So now we can expect weeks, even months, of efforts to separate parties and to try and form a coalition government. The next chancellor, by the way, will be voted in by the German parliament after a coalition government has been formed. But from a market's point of view, Stu, fears of a left-leaning uh, alliance taking power just didn't materialize. So that's good for the markets, for sure. I'm laughing, Ashley, because you said there's nothing like German politics to fire you <laughs> up on a Monday morning. <laughs> I'm not fired up and neither are you. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. <laughs>